In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the glass morphic flowchart design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, one arrow comes here. And then the first option comes. You can see here, I've just put this uh, glass morphic effect here. The number one option with the icon and the text. I've put research and then you can add the detailed text here. When I click, the second option comes, the idea, the third planning, fourth time, and fifth success. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, then some, some features may not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So I'm going to keep the shape this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, I'm going to make it white. All right. And then I'm just going to duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate and put it in the center and i'm going to cut some part of this uh, for the shadow part for that let me just go to insert shapes again select the oval shape and i'm going to cut maybe this much part you can see like this and i'm going to select this and this by holding the shift key after that you can go to merge shape and i can subtract it and this color i'm going to keep it black and i'm going to put it here and i'll tell you what to do next then i'm going to add one more uh, oval shape by pressing the ctrl d bring it again in the center and then i'm going to add one more smaller one go to insert shapes you can see the oval shape again hold the shift key maybe this much size you can see here so some part of this one should be you can see here let me just send this to back so this part or i can just make it somewhat uh, transparent so you know like this an outline make it no outline so you can see here some part it's uh, it's merged with this one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both the shapes then merge shape i'm going to make it fragment okay the moment i make it fragment it comes like this so this part i'm going to put it here and this part is also there so for the both the parts what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the color blue or any other color of your choice uh, you can uh, choose it all right and then this one i'm going to make it transparent maybe 70 percent all right you can see here it's more transparent and when i bring this one here exactly like this let me just zoom in and then i'm going to send this to back all right now the problem with this is it's not uh, giving the right uh, the shadow effect for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here and then i'm going to uh, effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here again if you want you can further increase the size a little bit and align it properly let me just select it and manually i'm just aligning it you can see here it gives a kind of a shadow the, the the shadow effect here all right so it looks like this you can see here and for this i can make it again make it more transparent maybe 70 75 percent again go here the effect soft adjust increase the size and let me just make it more light and somewhat and then i'm just going to put it here as the shadow effect and send this to back so you can see here i have created something like this and this shape i'm going to select and delete it i don't need this one so you can see here like this i have made it i'm going to select all and then i'm just going to move it towards the left and then i'm going to insert one line go to shape select the line draw the line by holding the shift key so that you get the straight line 
and then shape outline you can give maybe a blue color or any other color of your choice and the begin arrow type i'm going to give this uh, the oval shape and then the end arrow type i'm going to give this uh, arrow header you can see a stealth arrow it looks something like this let me just remove the guides you can see here it comes like this and then this one i'm going to send this to black and make it somewhat transparent some transparent line you can see here so once this is done what i'm going to do is i can add the number here go to the insert text box and i'm going to type one make it bold if you want and i'm going to use roboto any other font of your choice you can add it and then make it white color and put it here so this is the option number one okay and then i'm going to insert the text here for example i'll just say option zero one and this is also i'm going to make it roboto and you can use any font color maybe gray color and then once this is done i can add some icon so go to insert icons you can choose the relevant icon for example maybe i'm going to choose this one click on insert and i'm going to make this height as 0.5 and graphic fill i'm going to give some gray color and sorry the outline and the graphic fill i'm going to make it no fill so it looks something like this all right so once this is done put it in the center i'm going to select all these uh, the oval shapes and then hold the control shift key and then just drag it so this is second this is third this is fourth and this is fifth now if you don't have any space what you can do is you can control a to select all unselect this arrow and move it towards the left you can see here because we have got the space at the left all right so it looks something like this so now i'm just going to make it as two this is three four and this is five and once this is done you can just select this icon you can go to the graphics format change graphics from icons and you can choose any icon of your choice maybe i'm going to select this one so you can see here it's already changed you don't need to do any other changes here so this one i'm just going to make it option two this is three this is four and this is five so and if you want you can add one more uh, shadow effect i'm just pressing ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to the effects all right and i'm going to increase the size you can see here and uh, the transparency i don't want any transparency but i'm going to increase this one you can see here or if you want you can just hold the shift and reduce the size also and then you can put it here okay like this some press ctrl d this also possible you can see here like this you need to do it and for the text select the text and bring this to front and once this is done you can just go to insert text box you can add detail text add detail text here again gray color center align reduce the size and hold the control shift key just drag it to the next options you can see here like this and then if you would like to add some basic animation you can add the animation by selecting the one shape at a time if you want you can just group it by pressing ctrl g you can see here i have grouped this one so and then once this is grouped you can go to the animations any animation for example i can just make it more entrance effect maybe basic zoom something like this like this animation you can create it